Hey, dude, what we doing? Replacing the liner. Having a good time. We're replacing the liner in the swimming pool. And we added uh, bumpers, uh, corner bumpers on there. Uh, they didn't, the previous owners didn't have them down. They just had the sand kind of peaked up. But we will see how this works. Gonna set this down in here and then start unfolding it. Taking it apart, this really ain't gonna be a how-to video. Uh, but it's pretty straightforward. You take your caps off, you take your tops, you take uh, uh, your clip liner, and then you take the uh, inner clip liner out. There's three layers. Yeah, and your liner will fold in. Make sure you have a good shop vac to get all the little pieces and parts and everything because you don't really want that on your sand because that can uh, lead to holes in the future and uh this is a pretty good one how much was this babe maybe two two i'll have to look real quick yeah but it does come with new liners or, or new uh gaskets for uh the basket and uh the uh return so it's pretty good stuff all right guys we are going to get started more to come One thing uh, that the hooch did want me to tell you was that the, the bumpers going around the bottom were 100 bucks. We came out here and started about 9.30 or 10 o'clock. Isn't that right, babe? 9.30? Um, 9.00 nine. Nine o'clock. And it is... eleven fifteen. We've already gone to Walmart twice to get... Uh, new stainless hardware screws and uh, sand, clay sand to fill in some holes. But uh, that was it. So not too bad. We should have water in this thing within an hour or so. More to come. Okay, guys. Just to let you know how all the price increases and shortages have been, we knew that there were going to be shortages <coughs> we ordered this August of last year for opening up swimming pool season uh, of this year this was $270 we ordered and now it has doubled in price up to 600 bucks and it is on back order so you can't get this size right now um, this unless is, you went with a different brand yeah I'm sure you could find a cheaper thinner thinner yeah but we got a, a really good thick one with a bottom liner as well so it's kind of like two liners on the bottom and uh it's just amazing how expensive everything has gotten so now we're going to get started spreading it all right guys what we have done is we have used clothes pins and uh plastic uh clips yeah the clothes pins are less likely to tear the liner as opposed to metal clips but we have pulled we opened the box up in the center unrolled it unfolded everything and then we began to walk around it and spread it one person on the inside one person on the outside and we have two, made sure two people on the inside spreading it so you're not messing up your sand well and then one gets out yes one person's on the outside and one person's on the inside. And you go all the way around and make sure the liner is level all the way around on the outside. We've just about gotten it smoothed out. But what we're going to do now is start adding the water to it uh, because the water will help us flatten out these wrinkles and see where we really need to uh, do some adjustments. So all in all, it, you could probably do it on a nice sunny day, uh, probably four hours to put it together tear it apart and put it back together without taking the sides down so more to come okay guys now we have a little bit of water in the bottom knocked out the wrinkles and uh, it is slowly filling up now we're putting the clips on this is the first set of clips these think of these as the sides of poster covers uh that you would uh put the cardboard 
the poster and then the acrylic over this is exactly what they are and they just slide on like this it's a first layer and, and I'm just... yeah we're going to put these back inside because we don't want to uh uh jack it up by the pool liner falling down in there so this is just extra insurance one of us is going to stay here and the other is going to run to uh walmart to grab something else i can't remember what it was and uh because once the water reaches a certain level we're going to have to stretch a little bit more but we need the water to hold the wrinkles because you push it out and it just falls back in so i guess this is turning into a how-to video but you not, can see not really if you really want to know how to do it there's a lot of oh yeah there's a lot of really good yeah because that's what i watched yeah we watched several how to really good honest to goodness how to's this is just how not to how we do it <laughs> So, there we go. Everything is filling up nicely. We should be able to pull those wrinkles out when the water gets a little bit higher. Uh, you can see the sun has already done its job on this, kind of stretching it out taut. And I think that should do the same. We'll pull that up a little bit and get rid of that wrinkle, but all the wrinkles are out of the bottom and all the sides except for that. Okay guys, now, so we're back. We started this around nine o'clock and now it is 3.30. In between starts and stops and waiting for it to fill, adjusting the, uh, uh, the edge, the trim pieces, you know. So it hasn't been bad at all. Uh, it, it did not take nearly as long as I thought it would have. And if we ever did it again, it would go a lot faster. Main thing it is, uh, is the prep work um, keep the sand base nice and level unwrap it in the center when you stretch it out smooth out as many wrinkles as you can have clothes pins wooden clothes pins to go all the way around the side and hold it up and it does not take long at all in a little bit after we get about another foot of water i'm going to cut the hole for the uh, basket skimmer and also for the uh, return line and that'll be it take care of you people guys